In person, Kendra Gill seems like the girl next door. Her mugshot is virtually unrecognizable from the young woman that I met. And she's already made up her mind to move beyond this bomb-throwing story as fast as she can. Kendra Gill could be known as a talented musician. She's enjoyed time in the spotlight as Miss Riverton, speaking on fitness and nutrition. But these days, her image has been reduced to that of a girl hurling homemade bombs one evening a few weeks ago. She calls that night a bad decision she made with three close friends. We all were just feeling terrible about it, you know, like we didn't think about what we were doing at the time and we didn't know that it would get to this point. We just, you know, meant for it to be a practical joke and never had any intentions to harm anyone at all. There have been reports that a couple of them were thrown at someone. Is that not the case? No, we never threw it at anyone. Charged with four counts of possession of an explosive device, Kendra's family has a hard time reconciling the charge with the young woman they know. Quite frankly, it's, it's been uh, the hardest week of my life so far. And to be able to have to see my you know, daughter put in jail for this and to try and deal with the consequences, that was uh, something that I wasn't used to. It's hard to get mad at her because it wasn't, we knew her heart, we know her heart, we know her intentions, and her intentions was never to hurt anybody. But to a handful of neighbors, that loud bang was enough to spark a 911 call. It sounded like dynamite or loud firecracker. So did they all explode? Yeah. They threw uh, worse bombs at her house, and then we came back to my house, and they threw some bombs at my house, too. Kendra says she feels bad about scaring those people and remorseful enough that she has resigned her title as Miss Riverton. I'd rather have it be my decision now than have someone take it from me. I know there's, there's other girls out there that can do equally as good of a job and I know I'm not worried about that at all. Now the family's concern are the criminal charges, which her lawyer says are overkill. This is the weapon of mass destruction here. This is what we're talking about. They were trying to, to uh, do a prank that ends up in hindsight not being so funny. Richard Pyatt, KSL 5 News.